The publisher of um, uh, the Daily Herald was a company called Odom's Press. And Odom's were to play a very major part in the development of Britain's magazine industry uh, in the interwar period. Um, Odom's uh, had a long history, it, it, it had a longer history than either uh, Harmsworth or Nunes. Uh, businesses. It had been set up in the middle of the 19th century as a, as a printing firm and from, for, for half a century it did nothing other than print. Um, but early in the 20th century it took on a new uh, a manager, a chap called Julius Elias, a and Elias was very keen to extend Odom's business into publishing. Um, and uh, he, he uh, developed a number of initiatives uh, the most important initially was the publication of John Bull magazine, uh, a very popular magazine during the First World War, and quite an interesting story in itself. Um, but um, uh, by taking on the, the, the publishing as well as the printing of John Bull, um, Odoms were able to establish themselves as a significant force because the John the the, the circulation of John Bull uh, was running at around about a million, um, even higher during its height during the First World War. Odoms then used that to develop a number of other magazines. Uh, Weekly Passing Show uh, was one of them. But Odoms also developed monthly magazines, more expensive. Um, uh, they were particularly interested in... Uh, 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 the cinema. They became a, uh, one of the initial exponents of, of uh, um, magazines for the cinema and launched the Picture Goer Monthly. Um, they also um, uh, published Ideal Home, which was inspired by William Morris. Now, these kinds of magazines were not very easily produced through the letterpress. Some of the material could be, could be used, could be, could be printed through the letterpress but the fundamental technology that was needed to produce the kind of covers we see here, um, the, the, the nice illustrations, the good quality illustrations, and the color uh, illustrations of these monthly, um, were, uh, uh, was a system known as gravure printing. Uh, gravure printing involved engraving uh, a copper plate and then applying ink to it, uh, and then um, uh, often on a cylinder, uh, transferring that onto the paper, but it was slow, it was laborious, and the, uh, the, the copper plates themselves were not well suited to long print runs, whereas the, the letterpress, uh, rotary presses could carry on almost infinitely. Um, uh, gravure printing was much less uh, robust and wasn't at this time suitable for long print runs. So although Odom's was a uh, a firm that developed printing, and it had its own gravure uh, printing works, um, it, it, it was still um, uh, unable to develop that technique into mass circulation magazines. The firm which did make the leap uh, in, in the 1920s and 30s um, to what is known as rotary gravure um, uh, was a company called the Sun uh, Engraving Company.